If you run advertising campaigns, you might already be aware of how important each element in your ad is. Anything from headline, description, image, or CDA can make or break your ad, and optimizing all of these elements can really make a difference. But how do marketers know which variations they should use in their campaigns? The answer is A-B testing. A-B testing can offer you valuable data that you can use when optimizing your campaigns to increase the return on your investment. Hi there, I'm Chris, and today I'll show you how simple it is to set up an A-B testing campaign in Creative. So let's dive right into it. Before you begin, keep in mind that you will need to prepare the creatives that you want to test. I have two ads in my listing that I previously designed, and as you can see, the elements can differ in a variety of ways. For real scenarios, however, we recommend testing one component at a time. Start with selecting the ads that you want to use and click on AB testing icon above your listing. You can also right click on one of the selected designs and select setup AB testing. This will open up a setup dashboard where you will be able to add more creatives to your test by clicking on add creative. Use the search option to find any other creatives that you want to include in the test and keep in mind that you can only choose up to 5 creatives in total and they must all be of the same size. If you added any creatives by mistake or you just changed your mind, you can remove them from the same dashboard. If you're happy with your selection, give your campaign a name and a fitting description. Once you're done, click on finish setup and access your ad serving settings. Choose your DSP, generate the ad tag, and import it into your ad network to run the test. As soon as you launch your ads, our platform will begin collecting the data. You can now check the status on your test and follow the results that are being produced, such as CDR and impressions. If the results are being generated, you can check them in the listing area through the side panel view. An A-B test can run anywhere from 7 to 30 days, and if one of the creatives reaches a win probability of 85%, the test will automatically end and the winning design will continue to be served. You can also end the test by clicking the End Test button, case in which you will be walked through a confirmation flow which acts as an extra layer of security. Performance metrics can also be followed in Project Analytics section under A-B Testing where various data filters can be applied to track and monitor the development of your campaign. This brings us to the end of our video and hopefully starting today you'll have a better grip on how A-B Testing works in Creative and how it can benefit you by increasing the conversion rate of your digital ads. Please make sure to subscribe to our channel as more tutorial videos will be coming up soon and as always, thanks for watching.